Uh, joining me today to discuss cybersecurity is Dennis Lanahan, Director of International Sales at OWL Cyber Defense Solutions. Welcome, Dennis. Thank you. Uh, you know, cybersecurity spans a lot of different technologies, a lot of different services and things like that today, at least I find that in my research. So just to start this discussion, can you kind of frame where OWL Cyber Defense Solutions fits? Great, thank you. OWL Cyber Defense Solutions was founded in 1999. We came from technology out of Sandia National Labs, specifically for a technology to move information one way. And the technology is uniquely different in that we don't allow traditional network connections. We maintain 100% separation between the OT and the IT environment and allow data to flow one way. And given that very unique security profile that we implement, our customers like that because it's hardware enforced, it implements a network protocol break, maintains 100% network confidentiality, yet restores and allows the flow of data between OT and IT or between any source and destination network. You know, uh, at ARCR Research is kind of saying that, that companies are finally recognizing that they do need to do something about cybersecurity. Uh, so how are these companies, your clients, uh, deploying your technology to do that? So one of the papers that we use is a paper that was published by the Department of Homeland Security in conjunction with the NSA and the FBI. And specifically, they talk about seven different strategies for, in, uh, for securing ICS control systems. And in this process, what they talk about is the ability to move data one way using optic isolation, using data diode technology for separation between IT and OT. And there's really three implementation use cases. They talk about building a defendable environment and moving information from OT to IT one way. Secondly, then they talk about converting data flows one way in. So information that needs to come from the IT environment back into the OT environment should also be done in a one way environment. The reason that's done is to strip out traditional network TCP IP protocols and not allow remote access to the most critical OT environment. After the conversion of data flows to one way in and one way out, they talk about if a bi-directional connection is needed, deploy a solution that implements a single threaded TCP IP connection to allow that command to control from the outside. Specifically, this key use case is very helpful because OWL provides three solutions that allows us to deploy the best case guidance that's put out by the DHS, the NSA, and the FBI. Uh, you, you happen to mention there the OT and the IT. You know, that's a big thing in our research, uh, our research at ARC. Uh, so how is OWL, or how does that fit into what your products can do? OWL Cyber Defense Solutions again. I yeah, guess. very good question. It fits in in a couple of different ways. And one of the analogies that I talk about frequently to help our customers understand one way in and one way out for separation and segmentation of the networks is to explain to them that there's use cases in the market today that are exactly what OWL does with data dio technology, and that is airport security. Airport security, after 9-11, reopened in order to protect the high side network of the airplane terminal. And what was done there through the Department of Homeland Security was an implementation of a high security conduit from the low zone, the terminal, into the, um, uh, airplane network where passengers must go through a one-way gate in order to get in to the high side network. Authentication of who the passenger is, uh, span scanning of bags and things of that nature are all analogous to what we do with data diode technology. Similarly, when passengers get off the airline and they come from the terminal out to the curb, they now go through the exit door. And once you cross the white line and there's security guard sitting there at the door, you can't just turn around and go back in. And this is a real world use case of how one way in and one way out technology is directly applicable to the OTIT environment because the data diode technology that we deploy to separate IT and OT is exactly like the airport security that was implemented to maintain security within the aviation field. 
What about the industrial internet of things? Uh, you know, at this event here, this ARC forum, you know, you know that's a very big topic. We do a lot of research around it. We have many, many clients that are interested in that, and, there, and a key issue that we run into is many of those uh, programs are being delayed and concerned because of security. So how can your solutions help? Sure, so what we do is we, we talk to our customers and help explain the various different use cases of one way in and one way out and how our technology implements that. And within that use case, what we're able to show customers is here's how we can change the paradigm. What most customers understand is remote monitoring with remote access. And in this new paradigm of one-way technology, we flip the paradigm and we collect the monitoring information from the OT environment and allow it to transfer one way out to the IT environment. And so we break the paradigm of remote access for remote monitoring to collect data, push it out one way. So now users on the IT platform at the corporate headquarters have access to data, but they no longer have access to the OT network. So maintaining that separation is critically important because as explained in the earlier uh, questions and answers, the hardware segmentation and the separation of IT and OT is the level of security that the asset owners are looking for. So after we talk about that, then we help the customers understand what type of data might need to go back into the plant. Some of the plants are completely autonomous and they run without outside influence and they don't need one way in, but other plants require some type of information to come from the outside environment back into OT, such as software updates and patching. And so that's a perfect use case of where a one-way data flow in for patch updates and things of that nature really allow them to understand the use cases of data diodes, the separation between IT and OT. And once the customers have deployed a one way in and a one way out scenario, then they start looking at other connections or other applications that might require a bi-directional connection. And we can have the conversation with them and also force the customer to understand whether or not that's really a connection they want in their network because opening the OT environment to outside command and control is a threat vector that most of our customers absolutely want to avoid. What about one other thing we see in control systems today is the use of, you can call it disruptive technologies, but for the key one I would say, a key, I mean, I, industrial and other things is one, but another one is the use of cloud. We see a lot of cloud. So again, how does your solution work with respect to these? Yeah, great, great question. Uh, there's no doubt that OWL data diode technology is very unique and enables the cloud infrastructure. Because a lot of what we've discussed up to this point is the ability for us to collect information from the OT environment, transfer it one way out of OT into an IT, either to the cloud or to the corporate data store. From our vantage point, we don't care one or the other. But what it allows for is the movement of critical OT data coming from the edge devices that are on their OT network to get that information out to decision makers in the cloud or the corporate infrastructure, whether it's predictive monitoring, whether it's maintenance, whether it's alarms and events, uh, a lot of different data types that ultimately are needed to feed the cloud. And so part of what we talk about in that security element is the way that the OWL data diode works with the hardware separation, the 100% network confidentiality. What we can ensure is that data can flow from the OT environment out to the cloud and in that scenario, we know for a fact across an OWL data diode, there is no access from the cloud back to OT. So we maintain 100% confidentiality there. We allow the data to flow to restore the business continuity and implement a very, very unique cybersecurity hardware enforced profile at the boundary between the OT and the cloud or the corporate data store. Well, Dennis, thank you very much. It's been a real Pleasure to talk to you today. I appreciate the time, thank you. Uh, today we've been speaking with Dennis Lanahan, who's the Director of International Sales for OWL Cyber Defense Solutions. Thank you for watching.